All right, back to the best backyards video. Here we have the next six in the series of 13. We already had one video, so if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that now. We also have a bonus one here, so it's a total of seven ideas with my favorite one at the very end. Enjoy this video right now. Another backyard idea that is very popular that I would strongly recommend is outdoor lighting. So as you're thinking about your backyard space, we obviously wanna do all these other ideas, but really don't skimp on adding lights to the space. You're gonna be able to show off your space completely different in the night hours. And you're also gonna be able to have some safety. So of course, with path lights, you wanna be able to safely light up the space you can do that with either path lights or you could even do it with up lights. Now that safety for your outdoor lights is not just for visitors. Lights around the landscape will deter theft in the house or around the house. So light up that space. Maybe it's on a seat wall. Maybe you're lighting up a water feature in the landscape. Maybe it's a little fountain. Maybe it's some beautiful plants and trees that you have in your landscape. But just give that subtle lighting and all of a sudden you're going to change that whole evening hours to just a different atmosphere. Another thing about lights is string lights. Now these are becoming where you can put these right into the transformer with all of your other lights. So they'll just come on every night with your standard outdoor lighting package. So really think about string lights and traditional low voltage lighting to be able to light up that nighttime landscape. Now with lights, I just wanna let you know, you wanna be a little understated. You don't wanna to go too much with over lighting up the space. You don't want it to look like an airport runway. You want it to be subtle lighting. So really you want to highlight different areas, but you don't wanna light up and annoy the neighbors and annoy everybody around you. You don't want it to be subtle things that you're highlighting in the landscape. Another idea that I want to tell you about is outdoor heaters. Outdoor heaters are pretty important to me because we want to extend that time outside. So really think about that as you're designing your space. You can do heaters either attached to your structures. You could do them below your deck. You could even do the freestanding heaters that are connected to a propane tank. But these will really extend those, those hours, those days, those seasons outdoors. So think about an outdoor heater. I think you'll be very comfortable in your outdoor space and you won't necessarily want to come in as that temperature starts to drop. So another idea for your backyard space is privacy screens or privacy in any way. It could be plants, it could be shrubs, but basically privacy. We're gonna go over some of that right now because many of us live in neighborhoods. Many of us live in neighborhoods with windows looking right into our spaces. So it's really important to get that area private. Just give your, yourself that, that, that's your space, that's your private area. So it's really important for us to be able to hinder the views from those neighbor's windows to be able to just protect us in our little nook of the world. And there's lots of creative ways to do that. You can do with a privacy screen. It could be with a wood privacy screen as you're seeing here. It could be with a metal privacy screen as you're seeing here. You can even use a fireplace as a privacy screen. If you strategically place it in the right spot, it'll hinder the views from your neighbor's windows. Another privacy screen that I love, of course, would be the living walls. You can design them like you're seeing here, or you could just use them with hedges. Hedges are a great screening effect because they can grow along the border of a landscape. It gives you some nature to look at, but it'll also kind of hinder the sight lines from the neighbor. Another thing I want to encourage is using vines as a privacy screen. They take up a very narrow footprint in the landscape, especially if they're along a fence line and they can grow up that fence line. They can grow up a trellis, in fact, and they can add some very nice privacy features, hindering the views from the neighbors, but giving your eye a very attractive look as well. Another backyard idea that I know you're gonna love is yard games or backyard games. 
Now you can do some of these as built-in games such as basketball. You can put a, a little basketball court in and that'll really be obviously a wonderful spot for your kids to be able to go and shoot hoops or be able to play, maybe even ride their bikes on. You could also do a little putt-putt golf course as a backyard built-in game. It's very popular, work on your golf game, your short game there. You could even do a little fringe around the edges to be able to chip from. So another very popular game is cornhole for the backyard barbecue nights, hanging out with family and friends. You can be throwing cornhole and all of a sudden you have a built-in kind of really nice, fun area for people to entertain at. Another thing is croquet. Right there in the lawn, you can set up croquet. This is for young and old alike. We can all enjoy that time together. Take advantage of being outdoors. The main reason is to just have fun, play games, be with your friends, be with your family, and really build those memories in your backyard space. Another idea that I wanna highlight is water features. Now water features can come in lots of different shapes and sizes, but really a water feature attracts me and attracts nature to the space. So it could be a little water feature that is trickling down a, a small hillside, almost like a creek style. Now at the end of that, you can either do a little pond, you can even put some goldfish in the pond or even some koi in the pond, or you can do a pondless water feature. So you can still have it trickle down the hillside, but it will just trickle down into more of a catch basin. So it's a lot easier to maintain something without a pond, but with a pond, it's not that hard to maintain it a little bit of education and it'll be a very easy for you. Now, another thing about water features is they could be done in flower pots. And it's a style that I really appreciate. Kind of gives you a very subtle sound, just the trickling water down the side of the flower pot. So lots of different styles of water features, but really they all have the benefit of just providing that sound. They're very good too of kind of drowning out other noise. So if you live next to a road or if you live in the city, it's nice to have a water feature because it'll kind of drown out some of that noise that's happening around you. And it'll give you that kind of nature feeling of being out in a beautiful forest with a water feature right next to you. So I definitely recommend a water feature for not only the looks, but the therapeutic benefits as well. For the bonus idea, I wanna to talk to you about solid pathways. Now pathways are pathways really, but a lot of people will kind of skimp on the pathways, especially in the side of a house, because you don't see the area very much. But really a solid pathway, it could be a paver, it really does give a nice through to the space. Don't be afraid of curving that pathway a little bit. Maybe you can curve it around a boulder, maybe you can curve it around a bird bath or a water feature. Maybe you can curve it around plantings in the space. But really what you want to do is kind of create mystery and kind of create destination, kind of create a reason to kind of go out and explore in that space. And a pathway does an amazing job at that. Another pathway that you could think about is a step pathway through the lawn. Now I love this flexibility because you have a solid pathway, you're stepping from solid to solid, but you have the, the grass in between, so it really softens that pathway. Okay, I told you I was gonna save my favorite backyard idea to the very end, and here it is, installing a fireplace for your outdoor living space. Now, of course, we all are attracted to fire. It's, it's like pulls you right out, and it pulls people around the space together. Now, a fireplace is a lot like a fire pit. A fireplace is a little bit more intimate, though, than a fire pit. Fire pits are kind of designed for a lot of people, where a fireplace is designed for a small, intimate group. So it could be your significant other and you enjoying a fireplace together. It could be a small get-together, or it could even be your family around the fireplace. But to me, the fireplace is the number one because it just adds so much to the space. You're gonna have the memories around the fireplace. You're gonna be able to have that as kind of a built-in area just to catch up with your family and your friends. And it's also a beautiful feature to be able to pull you from your house to be able to go outside and enjoy. Fireplaces are also a great spot to be able to hook an outdoor TV up to, to be able to enjoy the benefits of the fire, the heat from the fire, but to be able to watch the game or even an outdoor movie with your 
family and friends. Really the main benefits of an outdoor fireplace is just the heat to be able to get people out to. Even on a summer day, just having kind of that fire in the background is gonna pull people out and attract people around it. So with an outdoor fireplace and really all of these things that we just talked about, really the most important thing to think about is the design part of it right now. Before you do any work, think about the design. I have a whole series, it's called a do-it-yourself series, and I basically am teaching you from the very start how to plan out your perfect backyard space for you, for your space. And it goes all the way through from the design all the way through to the end with the build. So go ahead and watch that video right now. And if you could also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.